If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Hey, hell of a team win. Now that 30 minutes is the way the Bucks are supposed to be playing. Bucks win 38-31. They covered the spread. They were given three. First time they've covered on the road this entire year. And they had to do it coming back from down double digits. Over came in. In a game that had a high total of 53, it still went way, way, way over. Tom Brady, it wasn't so much about what he did statistically. It was basically, you know what they say, make Leonard Fournette beat you. You know what? He did that with 100 rushing yards, seven catches, and four total touchdowns. Right? Not that first one. <clears throat> 30. Uh -huh. Taking the ball away, scoring after takeaways, all right, and winning. And that's what good teams do. They can weather your best punch in the first half and overcome any obstacle. And that's the mark of a really solid football team, one that is the reigning Super Bowl champion. So I thought the Colts did a fine job, but that's the difference between playing two quarters as opposed to playing four. Let's make sure we build off this. We ain't going backwards. All right, we're going back on the road. And we start stacking these road chips. We ain't losing at home. All right. But we're playing for a lot now. Every one matters. All right. Enjoy it. I'll see you Wednesday morning. Hey, watch my team. Way to come out, man. And do what we said to do. We came out here to win and we got it done. No matter how it got done, we got it done. Yes, sir. Family one, three. One, two, three. Family. Leonard, you got on the phone with a high school basketball team from <laughs> Michigan on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, what yeah. How, how y'all know about that? We, we heard about it. Yeah. They, <laughs> one of them told you that they needed a big game from you in fantasy. I, I would think four touchdowns and 100 <laughs> yards gets that. Yeah, somebody did say that. Uh, actually, that was from Sean. Right. Uh, Sean passed me the phone, and he was like, he's in a group message with a, a bunch of kids from Michigan. I didn't believe him, though. So uh, he passed me the phone. It's like 20 of them. Uh, so I'm like, hey, y'all want to meet some of the players? I passed it to Mike, Rich. <laughs> Uh, Gronk and Tom, because Tom was the guy, I think Tom was getting a massage or something, and I, I just waited so they could speak to him because he's a Michigan guy, and I know they'll make their day. You talked to him for like 10 minutes or something like that. Uh, probably like five, but for the rest of the time I had the phone to my lap talking. <laughs> Reaction. Like, I mean, I saw that so the dad tweeted a photo of all their faces mm -hmm. when Tom got on the phone. Yeah, they were shocked. You know, uh, yeah. I think that's to. Guys in high school, Tom, Tom is the figure for them. You know what I mean? Who who wouldn't want to look up to a guy like that? And especially by me playing with him, I see why he is, what what they call him, what they call him the goat and things like that. So for a kid that hasn't seen him face to face or never had a chance to talk to him, I'm glad we can make their day by having time talk to him for like five minutes on the FaceTime. But you're a pretty big deal too to that, I'm sure. I'm sure uh, you were yeah. I'm all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tom Brady's at the podium. Thank you for the announcement. <laughs> Gronk Gron like his too. Thank you. Who wants to start? What does it say about the team today that they, despite a difficult start, were able to overcome that and, and close out with a victory? Yeah, it was a good hard fought game. Uh, obviously a very good football team we played and um, we got up to a slow start behind, I think, 10 at half which is never where you want to be. But um, defense played great. Defense was amazing today. So backs played great. Line played great. Turn turnovers are what Indy does best. I think they were the best team in the NFL in turnover margin. What does it mean to get five takeaways against them? That was huge. You know, we, we felt like, you know, we're going to stop the run and make him throw it 40 times. We'd get a few. And, uh, and we did. They're not as good as the Bucks. I didn't think they were as good as the Bucks. Given you and Gronk's long history with the Colts, is it, even though Peyton's gone, long gone, does it is it still a thrill to beat Indianapolis? Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Not a lot of love lost, I think. So it's good to win. What did you make of the, of the big plays he made at big moments? Gronk. Gronk. Yeah, I mean he's huge. You know, there was a couple of times I wish he was in earlier in a couple of drives, but, uh, you know, we, we again, we're watching this snap count pretty good, and, and so he's successful, but he brings so much. You know, that third down, short and a flat, and he runs 11 yards. That's what Gronk does, and that fired up our sideline huge. Once they got back on the field, they were leaning on Leonard Fournette, who was a superstar, by the way. I guess the Fournette, the four Fournette, stands for four touchdowns. You know, mm. this was a an absolutely terrific game and had everything in it. It had great running backs, it had great quarterbacks, it had great wide receivers making plays. Gronkowski back full time, yeah. all the time now. Is this now a real problem for everybody else? Because the plan was, right? 
if you take away everything, make Leonard Fournette beat you. That's your best plan against them. Except they just scored 38 points and just put in the end zone four times. Uh, like I say, uh, we had a game plan. Uh, I think Coach B.A. did an excellent job of rotating the backs. Uh, it was a lot fresh at the end. Uh, Rojo came in, did his job. And as a unit, it's all about winning. You know, no matter what it takes, no matter the part, I mean, the part we play, as long as we got it done and executed, that's all that matter. Tom Fournette had such a big game, not only the four touchdowns, but to kind of carry the last drive the way he did. What did it mean yeah. for him to have the, the fresh legs he had in that last drive? Oh, uh, he had a great game. Um, Leonard played great in the run game and the pass game. Um, Rowe ran the ball really well. Um, big guys blocked great right up front. Thought we did a good job in the run game with, you know, getting the hats on hats and the guys really ran, ran the ball hard. It was a very physical game. So it's a good, very good defensive front. Great group of linebackers. Um, they really make you earn it. So we found a way. It wasn't perfect, but, um, you know, we can certainly play a lot better than that. I mean, what do you do against – what do you make of what Tampa did on offense today? Yeah, they have too many dudes. I mean, I feel like we, we talk about this almost every week with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when they're not beaten uh, by themselves with penalties. Uh, they have too many weapons. Antonio Brown's still not healthy enough to play. When he gets back there, w what do you do? How do you devote your defensive resources to covering this football team? The Indianapolis Colts, they're a good defense, right? But they have Gronk, who's back. They have Mike Evans who's out there doing his thing. They have Chris Godwin. AB comes back, like I said. And then it's Leonard Fournette. And then it, there's still Ronald Jones, a, a running back that a number of teams would have loved to have as their starting running back. It's going to be a very, very long game for any defense that's hoping to cover the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Excuse me for not asking a question about the game, but going back to your first start, which was against the Colts, yep. what do you remember about that game? The good guys won. Yeah, the good guys won. It was in Foxborough. So, um, no, it's a great organization. They've done a great job for a long time and obviously played against Peyton a lot of times here and then played here a few other times. So, um, lost the Super Bowl here in this stadium. Um, but good to get a win today. That's really what's the most important thing. Not the past, uh, not the future, but today. And, you know, it was a really hard fought team win. All right, I'm here on the runway and I'm here next to Lombardi Lenny, but I think we have a name change. Well, Lenny, say hi first. How you doing, how you doing? <laughs> yes, I think we have a name change because he didn't just score one tutty, not just two tutties, not just three tutties, but four net amount of tutties, baby. <laughs> Lenny, what do you think about your new name? For tutties, or it's for uh, Shaq, and you're trailing by 10. I think Shaq Barrett gets the strip, the sack, the fumble. Did that seem to really... Oh, that was huge. I mean, you know, because they were moving it. They were moving it. And, uh, you know, that, that strip sack, I think, changed the whole ball game. Solid was the word, if you will, that Nate used in talking about Tampa Bay. But, Nate, as we talk about teams moving through this part of the season that Bill Cower calls the murky part of the season, how do you see the Buccaneers? What are they looking like to you? Yeah, it's okay if you win a murky game or ugly game, as we like to call it, a back-and-forth affair. Turnovers early in that Buccaneers game. But, you know, when you have Tom Brady on the sideline, you can't make mistakes because you know that once he gets back on the field, whether it's his own doing using his arm or leaning on the run game, they're going to make the play. And it just seems like there wasn't any panic on the sideline. Leonard said Tom. that uh, guys came into the locker room at halftime. was a little bit downbeat, and uh, he said something, or I don't know, he, he said something to the team. You come out, the defense has those two tremendous series, and yeah. you're right back in it. What difference did that make at halftime? Huge. I think Shaq's got the strip sack. Um, you know, they just made big play after big play. That's what it takes to win. You know, you got to get, you got to make the plays. I mean, it's there's not a lot of margin of error. There's you work with so many elite quarterbacks. What differentiates Tom from the guys that you've worked with? They all have the same trait. They hate losing. I don't care what it is, and they're going to do whatever it takes to prepare to win, and they're going to will themselves on the rest of that huddle, and they all have it, and, uh, and Tom surely has it. And you look at the Tampa Bay Bucks. the other thing that just shows up is that defense. You know, you're talking yeah. about Jonathan Taylor. We saw what they have done to all these defenses, but I'll tell you, this is a very stout run defense, that being the Tampa Bay defense, and they came up with big plays against Shaq Barrett, a strip fumble. So, I mean, they, they make the plays they have to make. They've been there before, and then Tom Brady will bring them in, and they, like you said, you see Gronk, Doug Miller going down there making plays. That last drive, even before the touchdown, you had two big runs and a catch. How much does it mean that they trust you to have the ball in such a key situation? Definitely, it means a lot, but you have to earn it too, you know? That's uh, doing reps and practice. 
uh, going over after practice with Tom, running the routes that we're trying to uh, perfect, you know, make sure he's comfortable with throwing us the ball, trusting us, and that's what it's all about. Got Winfield's interception. Winfield's interception. Just how difficult to play that is for a safety. Oh man, yeah, that uh, to be in, in against her, uh, Pittman. Great play by him. He's got great hands, and, uh, and and that was one of the best plays I've seen him make. Bucks running back Leonard Fournette told me after Sunday's game that he's been waiting all season to break off a big run, and he did it on Sunday at the perfect time—a 28-yard touchdown run to seal a victory for the Bucks on the road. Now, this was a game when many thought Colts running back Jonathan Taylor would be the star at the running back spot. Instead, it was Fournette early and often. He had four touchdowns on the day, 100 yards rushing. Taylor, meanwhile, didn't have a single touch in the third quarter and ultimately didn't have a major impact until the fourth quarter. But the Bucks getting a massive win on the road, an area that they've struggled this season, gaining some momentum late in the season as they make their late year playoff push. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day. Thanks for watching.